What's up guys, I'm back for another pack opening. I know it's been like, what, three videos in the past just a few days, more than I've ever done in the past. Don't get too used to it though. Not to say I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop making videos for all. I mean, I'm trying to space it out. Uh, I'm just kind of on the hype train from the Ultra Prism pre-release opening that I had uh, just a couple of days ago. Um, if you haven't seen that video, please do. Uh, I pulled amazing cards out of that set. Uh, from my packs and and I won a lot of stuff and and I was really, really excited so please watch that video uh, get get uh, check out <laughs> check out the uh, cards that I pulled uh, they're pretty sweet uh, but anyway I just wanted to come back again today uh, because again I'm on the hype train I actually went to Walmart and bought two Crimson Invasion booster packs normally I just buy one and it's like usually the the off one like the one lonely booster pack off the side but this time I bought two uh these were the only two in the row uh when i was buying the booster packs i know silly dumb i don't care let's see what happens when i pull them out um i'm going to open up the guzzlord art one and there's still a lot of cards i need to get from crimson invasion i have a lot of catching up to do again if i if you've seen my other videos you know that i'm trying to do the pokedex binder collection do a full art of every pokemon card reverse foil of the other ones uh, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna be very, very expensive. I did pull a green code card, so probably not gonna get anything that exciting. Hopefully the energies are, or not the energies, I only saw, I only say energy, because I saw energy. Uh, hopefully the trainer cards are worth it. So let's we'll see, Fight Energy, Mill Tank, Sea of Nothingness, Gastrodon, uh, Lowland Geodude, Stuffle, Pumpkaboo, sorry, all my cards are falling, Staryu, D D D Dino? Is it Dino or Dano? I, I don't know. Some of these cards I can never pronounce. Houndoom. And our rare is Excavalier. Excav Excav Man, if I can't pronounce a Pokemon's name, it's most likely that generation that it was released. I probably didn't play that game as much. Uh, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Huge, huge Pokemon fan. Obviously a Gen 1 -er, But I think I stopped playing for a while after generation three after uh ruby and sapphire ruby and sapphire were not my favorite titles uh, i really loved kanto obviously i really loved johto uh kalos was great and uh the new one sun and moon alola was, was amazing but i just never got into the ones in between black and white diamond and pearl actually i lie about that one diamond and pearl because i got platinum and that one, when I was in college, uh, I had a roommate that was also huge into Pokemon, and he actually helped me complete the Pokedex in that game. It was, I think, 492 at that time, 491, 492, something like that. And we, we managed to complete the Pokedex, but when we say complete, we mean we got a copy of every single Pokemon in that Pokedex. So, I mean, like, you know, Caterpie, to Metapod to Butterfree, like I had each and every single one of those and everyone else, it, it was it was nuts. Um, just open up the other pack, green code card again. Ugh, so my little, my hype train has died now. I'm not, I'm not that excited. Uh, electric Energy, Counter Catcher, not too shabby. Staravia, uh, Grump Pig, yeah, Grump Pig, man. Uh, Dino, Shellos, Corefish, uh, Mancino, Magikarp, Reverse Beedrill, and Registeel. Okay. Actually, there you go. And I forgot to do the star card of the pack for the last one. Uh, I don't know if I still have all those cards intact because I know I dropped a couple. Uh, but let me see really quick. Um, star card pack. The last one, I'm going to give it to Houndoom just because the art looks sick. Uh, I know it looks like he's holding a firecracker in his mouth, but... Um, he just looks cool. Houndoom, uh, not one of my favorite fire Pokemon, but definitely one of the cooler looking fire Pokemon for sure. And the star card of the just the pack I just opened up is obviously going to Registeel. Registeel is very, very strong, um, is currently being played quite a bit because of his first attack. It does 30 damage, but you get to bring a energy card from the discard pile and attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. Uh, it's it's a really strong attack. Anytime there's energy acceleration, people always go crazy for it in competitive uh, tournaments and things like that. So, star card, Registeel. Not bad. Um, it's not a hollow or reverse, but I will take it. And 
I think that is it, guys. Um, I will most likely make another video probably by the weekend. Uh, nothing too crazy going on right now. I have a bunch of stuff to do for work this week. Uh, so it's the videos are going to slow down finally. And uh, I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I might splurge a little bit this weekend. Maybe I might buy a bundle box or something like that. Uh, a figure box? Hmm. So anyway, uh, like I said, it's going to be a while till I get this channel officially uh, booted up and running. But please subscribe, leave some feedback, like any of my videos. Uh, you know, just, just kind of support me on my way to making this hobby uh, something a bit bigger, a bit grander and a bit more exciting for you guys. Um, I know there's a lot of vlogs out there for Pokemon and things like that, but uh, I don't want to be just like those typical vloggers. I obviously want to find something new that I can bring to the table. And I think I'm still trying to find my way there. Uh, but like I said, for me, this is all really, really exciting. Um, this is kind of cool. I like kind of branching out and, and getting out of my comfort zone a little bit. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.